when you walk past a stunning guy on the street, you just can't help but turn around to take a second glance. It's human nature to feel attracted to handsome guys or beautiful girls. They make you think to yourself, gosh, if I could ever live with that face for even a second. Of all the countless good-looking guys on TV, there is one man who is exceptionally good-looking and is now considered the celebrity of celebrities. He's basically how the term face genius was created for his incredibly good-looking face on a tall body. Even those who aren't familiar with K-pop idols will immediately recognize his name upon hearing it and go, oh, that guy? In today's idol exploration, we are exploring Cha Eun-woo of Astro. In Korea, the name Cha Eun-woo is more or less a byword for being handsome. Even celebrities are amazed when they see Cha Eun-woo and go, wow, so good looking. Clearly, he was born blessed with bountiful handsomeness in his DNA. So let's get right into the hidden stories behind how Cha Eun-woo, who initially didn't want to be an entertainer at all, became an idol and a byword for good looking man. But wait, pop quiz! Which language does Cha Eun-woo not speak? Number 1. Japanese Number 2. Chinese Number 3. Russian Number 4. English Do you think you know the answer? Then tell us in the comment. We will randomly select one of the subscribers who give us the correct answer as the winner. For today's pop quiz, the winner will receive a Resistance RTOG turtleneck. It's the same turtleneck worn by Cha Eun-woo himself, so you can be in matching outfits with him like you're a couple. And I'm sure you've already hit the like button, subscribed, and turned on the notification, right? Make sure you do to find out the winner right away when we make the announcement. Don't know the answer? Keep watching the video and you'll find out. Cha Eun-woo was born on March 30th, 1997 in Gumgokdong, Gundanggu, Seongnam in Gyeonggi province. His real name is Yi Dong-min, and he has a little brother who is two years younger than him. Since childhood, Cha Eun-woo has been famous in school for his incredibly beautiful face. Not only was he massively popular for his unbelievably cute face, he was also an extremely bright kid and did very well at school. When he went to Suri Middle School, he had the third highest grades in his class and was also the class president. He even went to a debate competition when he was in 7th grade. In addition, when he went to Hanne Multi Art School, he appeared on the quiz show The Golden Bell Challenge. He was caught on the camera a few times during the program, and because he was so handsome, he gained a lot of fame even before making his debut. When Cha eun was in 8th grade, he was approached by a person from Fantasio Entertainment and handed a business card. It was on the day when his school was doing a festival, and he was on his way out of the restroom. But back then, Cha eun didn't really want to get into the entertainment industry. However, Fantasio persistently tried to persuade him to change his mind. Eventually, his father said, Why don't you go there and train for a year? Do it for just one year, and if you don't like it, you can come right back home. And so began the training. His life as a trainee was actually better than he had expected, and he ended up training for four years and finally debuted as a member of the male idol group Astro. Chao Nu is the lead vocalist of the group. He does his solo parts and the killing parts of Astro's title tracks. He has a great baritone voice but doesn't sound so good when singing high notes. Honestly, Chao Nu isn't exactly known for his singing skills or dancing skills. But his handsome face is so darn perfect that in just about every song by Astro, the killing part is always done by Chao Nu. Now, Fantasio is actually an entertainment agency that specializes in actors, so it's not exactly a company with a huge influence in the K-pop scene. This might have to do with why Astro never got much attention or recognition even after making a debut in K-pop. Cha Eun-woo himself wasn't that famous either when he had just debuted. Of course, when the Golden Bell Challenge was filmed at Hanlin Multi Art School, he did gain some fame, but he didn't exactly become a superstar right away. Also, when Cha eun had just debuted, his face was a bit younger and more baby-like. But with his face gradually becoming more prominent over the years, Cha eun began to get more and more popular around when Astro was promoting the song Hide and Seek. And by the time the song Breathless came out, his face had already reached perfection and more people started to recognize his face and name. Because of his over-the-top good-looking face, many people who didn't know Astro would at least know who Cha eun was. As his handsome look created a buzz consistently, he was even nicknamed Face Genius. Also, his face was often the talk of the show whenever he appeared on a variety show. 
When Chao Nu went to France for the show Those Who Crossed the Line, there were some Italian men who were so enamored by his beauty that they would approach him and talk to him during the show. Comedian Yi Young Yu, who was on the show together, went as far as calling him the Einstein of faces. Yi Young Yu has been a comedian in Korea for years, and he normally doesn't give compliments to anyone. But upon meeting Chao Nu, he couldn't stop complimenting on how good looking he was. On the show Baek Jong Won's Alley Restaurant, Chao Nu was once again called a face genius, which at this point became his official nickname. Due to his ridiculously good looking appearance, Chao Nu was sometimes the object of envy among male celebrities. One time, former K pop idol Kang Sung Hoon appeared on TV with Chao Nu, and while staring at Chao Nu, he said, I don't really know if he's handsome, which got everyone else laughing. There's even a saying among K pop fans that goes, My bias is my bias, but Chao Nu is Chao Nu. It means that they love their biases, being that they are their biases, but they also love Chao Nu as a completely separate deal. There are actually many K pop fans who have their own biased K pop groups but still love Chao Nu. He has now solidified his position as the byword for good looking men in Korea, so no more needs to be said about that. But even Chao Nu had a critical weakness. And that was his poor acting skills. Being that Fantasio was an agency that produces actors, the company began pushing Chao Nu to act when he started to make a name for himself for his look. So Chao Nu, who had previously only made brief appearances in web dramas and whatnot, began pursuing acting by playing Do Kyung Seok, the main role of the show Gangnam Beauty on JTBC. His performance in Gangnam Beauty earned him the Best New Actor Award and Hallyu Star Award at the 11th Korea Drama Awards. He also won the Rising Star Award at the 3rd Asia Artist Awards. That being the case though, Chao Nu's acting skills were quite frankly not that outstandingly good. In fact, there were people saying that fans watched the show out of loyalty because of his beautiful face. Chao Nu didn't give in to the criticism though. In the following year, he played Prince Dohwan in NBC's rookie historian Gu Haeryoung. Could it be that he was under too much pressure from his first attempt at a historical K-drama? Once again, his performance was not received well, and many of his fans pointed out that he needed more practice. So what if he did and what if he didn't? As far as appearance goes, Chao Nu's face is perfection itself, and so even though his acting skills needed work, he's become a rising star in commercials. Starring in one commercial after another, Chao Nu's captivating face became more and more well known. He looks cold at times, but when he smiles, he looks like the most innocent guy in the world. Over time, fans have come up with all kinds of descriptions for him. Some call him Sangyeonle Pripesesang, meaning that his wife to be's parents will immediately say yes to the marriage when seeing his face. Some also call him the face of a flight attendant who would probably give you a smile when you board the flight. And there seems to be some truth to these descriptions because Chao Nu is actually famous for his friendly personality in real life. He is so good natured that the other Astro members often make fun of him, but when he is with his teammate Sanha, he acts like a big brother, which has made many fans fall in love with him instantly. Furthermore, he is quite a brainiac and appeared on the quiz show 1 vs 100 where he ended up being one of the last two survivors in the show. He can also speak Chinese fluently because he learned it as the second foreign language when he was in high school. He can now speak Chinese, Japanese, and English, besides Korean of course. Seriously, how perfect can one be? Tall, handsome, smart, Chao Nu seems to have it all. It's been only 5 years since he debuted, so he probably still has a lot of attractive qualities he has yet to show us. That said, fans are excited as can be for Chao Nu's growth as an entertainer, whether on stage, or in K-dramas, or in movies. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Please hit the like button and subscribe. If there's any K-pop star you want to know more about, tell us in the comment. For the selected topic, we'll put together a big giveaway event. This has been Duyuram's Idol Exploration. See ya!